Great day everyone. In this video, we are going to see one problem from the past paper of IGCSE. Uh, I don't know whether it is 0607 or 0580, but this is amazing problem. I liked it actually. That's why I'm sharing it with you all. Let's see how we have to see solve the question. So here they have mentioned that three sides of an equilateral triangle are tangents to a circle of radius r centimeter. So maybe if you are naming this triangle as ABC, they are saying it is equilateral triangle. Uh, the sides of the triangle are 8 cm. So both are 8 cm and they mentioned it is tangents to a circle. So the tangents are equal in length and uh, it is going to divide each tangent's length into 4 cm. So like that is going to divide it. Uh, calculate the value of R. Show that it rounds to 2.3 correct to one decimal place so this is what we have to prove that r value um, so what are we going to do this is we know that this is going to be 90 degree because this r is the radius and uh, this is the tangent maybe if you are taking bt bt is the tangent um, so it's going to be the 90 degree we know that uh, angle of I mean internal interior angle of uh, equilateral triangle is going to be 60 degree and this divides exactly off so that this angle will be 30 degree this is not 130 this is just 30 degree the angle actually I have marked it so maybe I can write it curved so 30 degree it is now we have to find out this R so this length side length we have is 4 centimeter and R is the opposite side and this 4 is the adjacent side. So opposite and adjacent it is tan theta equal to opposite by adjacent is the ratio we are going to use it. Tan theta is 30 degree here and opposite side is R divided by adjacent is 4. If you want R 4 will come here it is going to be 4 tan 30. Then if you put these values in the calculator that 4 tan 30 we are getting the answer as r equals 2.30940 and if you are rounding this we are getting 2.3 to one decimal place um, just keep it in your mind if they have given the answer and they are, they are asking to prove it you should always write that unrounded answer then only you should come to the conclusion it is mandatory okay so you might feel that what is a uh, new thing in this it is not new that new thing and then the amazing thing is there in the part C so let's go to that uh, question B uh, the diagram shows a box in the shape of a triangular prism of uh, height 12 centimeters so they told right the triangle what they have given in the previous subdivision that is there in the top and uh, it forms a triangular prism cross section in equilateral triangle they mentioned it with sides and 8 cm calculate the volume of the box so volume it's a prism so we know that base area into height is what going to be the volume what is the base area it's an equilateral triangle we know that this angle is 60 degrees since it is equilateral triangle and this side is also 8 cm so what is the area of the triangle it is of a B A is 8 B is also 8 since it is equal to triangle into sine the angle between the two sides are 60 degrees so it's sine 60 so this gives the value of area of the base I mean the identical pieces area equal to triangles area that we have to multiply it with 12 that is a height if you put all these values in the calculator then you will be getting 332.55 but we can round and write the answer to 333 as I said before it's uh, IGCSE so that you should give your answer to three significant figure <coughs> okay so now we are in this question so the very important uh, it's a new approach actually I liked it it is the box contains biscuits uh, okay the box box means they have told that this is the box uh, because see here and the box contains biscuits each biscuits is a, a cylinder of radius 2.3 centimeters and height 4 millimeters we'll be using this as 0.4 centimeter because everything should be in the same unit calculate the largest number of biscuits that can be placed in the box so here this is the very important thing and if you know crack this that forthcoming subdivisions are going to be very easy how will you do normally so 
if it, if you are going to find out that large number of biscuits that can be placed so total volume of the box uh, divided by volume of biscuits will do so that you will get how many number of biscuits it can hold I mean uh, number of biscuit is volume of box divided by volume of biscuit this is what everyone will think actually it is not uh, just think logically this this is a biscuit we are going to keep that as a biscuit and this is not actually a, a flour or something to just keep it inside the box so if you are keeping your uh, biscuits inside it is going to be taking place like this they told that the total height of the box is 12 and uh, each biscuit is 4 millimeters so how many biscuits you can uh, arrange in that you can't keep it like uh, so like this because I have space here or you can't keep like that only you can arrange in this because it's going to be the proper one and so n is the total height of the box it is 12 centimeter divided by each biscuits height because we will be arranging the biscuits like this so total height divided by that biscuits height that is 0 0.4 and that is going to give the answer as 30 so we can keep only 30 biscuits here okay let's go to the next one that's it it's actually a new thing right where everyone will think in that way even I thought in that way but after that I have realized that we can't keep as the biscuits like uh, how we want uh, we can't fill it we are just going to arrange it because it's a box of biscuits Next thing is volume of one biscuit is in cubic. Okay, we have to find out the volume of one biscuit. They told it it is a cylinder shape so that we can write pi into radius. It is 2.3. So pi into 2.3 square into height is 0 0.4 because each biscuit is having the height as 2.3 square. So pi into 2.3 square into 0 0.4. Uh, one minute so we are getting the answer as three significant figure answer as 6.65 centimeter cube is the volume of one biscuit okay this is normal but this is one more interesting thing the percentage of the volume of the box not filled with biscuits not filled with biscuits so we'll fill uh, the biscuits will find that uh, volume of biscuits in the box and after that we can subtract it from 100 since it is percentage then we'll get the answer how to get it are we going to do again like a volume of uh, biscuit by volume of box like that no it is not we have realized we can keep only 30 biscuits in this so the total volume total volume better you can go ahead with uh, the volume which has been uh, the exact value so pi into uh, whatever 333 is what we found it but you can better you can go ahead like uh, the exact value 1 by 2 into uh, 8 into 8 into um, what is this well, sine 60 into 12 and in the numerator actually what will be taking it is not one single biscuit there are 30 biscuits here also you should be very cautious you should not simply substitute uh, the values so it is 30 biscuits volume is pi into 2.3 square into uh, 0.4 this value multiply 100 gives uh, the percentage of biscuits then after that you can subtract that from 100 so 100 minus you can do it or instead of that since it's okay to accept that rounded answer also so maybe we can use it directly that too 30 biscuits are there each are having volume as 6.65 divided by that box volume is 333 that's what we have seen here uh, so into 100 so both if you are putting we are getting almost the same answer so 30 into 6.65 uh, divided by 333 into 100 it gives 59.9 uh, that is what the answer we are getting it and if you subtract this from 100 we are getting the answer as 40 percentage so 40 percentage is not filled with the biscuits so maybe I think uh, Cambridge can be Cambridge have uh, I they will not think like that if suppose if they are asking what brand is the biscuit is so 
maybe we can consider that since it has 40 percentage of space we can write that uh, brand of the company is lace i think that is the only biscuit which is having more air than the uh, biscuit or uh, chips even you can even use this this calculation can be used to get the exact value but even in that we are getting almost the same answer so this is a new thing the one is finding the number of biscuits we are using in terms of height and the second thing is here also we are not blindly going with that that overall volume uh, divided by the total actually here 30 into biscuits volume divided by like that we are doing it perfectly it's actually a nice problem i felt it and i thought of sharing it with you uh, in future if i find any different problems i will be uh, sharing along with the answer you just uh, if you like this you just subscribe my channel and forward it to your friends and also if you are finding any difficult problems or any new problems just put it in a comment by mentioning the year and which model which paper it is i will be solving and then i will give the solution to you thank you for watching